Oh my God, the New Orleans Saints and Will Lutz have done it again. I'm sorry that the Drew Brees jersey is crooked. We just got to deal with it. But oh my God, we did it again. A game-winning 33-yard almost missed field goal by Will Lutz sends the Saints to a beautiful 9-2 record. Let me start off this video by saying this game should not have been anywhere near as close as it was. Uh, it should not have been, hold on, I was just watching the game, a 34-31 game. It really should not have been. It should have been a lot a lot safer of a win. There have, were so many plays in which the Saints shot themselves in the foot. Every win is a good win, but this one was a sloppy win. It should not have been 34-31. to 31. But in all fairness to the Saints and Sean Payton, uh, the Carolina Panthers were playing for their season. This was a game that kept them in the wild card race. It kept the Carolina Panthers in the division race. If they won this game, they would have been in a position to actually make the playoffs, but this puts a huge dent into that. Sorry for my Drew Brees jersey looking crusty yet again. I, I didn't want to just... I had to get this out as fast as possible. So let's go ahead and recap some of the game. I almost was there just about to delete everything uh, on these notes because I was so frustrated towards the end of the game because we kept shooting ourselves in the foot, but it's okay because we pulled it out and we won. Uh, in the first quarter, Latavius Murray had the first opening drive touchdowns for the New Orleans Saints this year with a 26-yard touchdown run. He played fantastic in this game. Further proof that pass interference can't be overturned unless it's against the New Orleans Saints, Jared Cook got a monster reception taken away literally just because of hand fighting and uh, the DB playing Broadway acting. The Saints got the ball back off of a muffed punt um, and heads-up recovery by JT Gray and Justin Hardy. I'm pretty sure Justin Hardy is the one that recovered it, but it was heads-up by both of them. Beautiful teamwork. Uh, the play fake to Alvin Kamara left Carolina's defense stunned and allowed Drew Brees to strike for a 13-yard touchdown to Traquan Smith. The score at this point was 14 to zip. Uh, DJ Moore burnt the secondary and received a 50-yard touchdown gift-wrapped by uh, Kyle Allen. It, it was it, PJ Williams looked like a middle school defensive back on this play. Drew Brees at the end of the first quarter was 12 for 13, had 122 yards and a touchdown. Michael Thomas hit 100 receptions in the first, also with six targets, six receptions for 49 yards. The second quarter, the Carolina Panthers kicked a field goal. The Saints do the same with seven left, and it's 17 to nine at the end of two or at the start of two, my fault. Carolina outcoached New Orleans at the end of the half, milking the clock down all the way uh, on the field on the field with a 17-play, 68-yard drive that Cameron Jordan, un uh, that should have ended on a 4th and 26 play where uh, Cameron Jordan uh, had a roughing, or a, yeah, roughing the unnecessary roughness uh, call. It was a very interesting call. Christian McCaffrey scored the touchdown to cap the half off. Uh, the Saints only ran six plays in the entire second quarter. Uh, lost Teron Armstead. He was carted off of the field with an apparent ankle injury is what they said. The score was 17-15 to Saints heading into the third quarter. Saints had a 14-0 lead and eventually a 14-6 lead and failed to keep it. Another reason we really shot ourselves in the foot this game. The third quarter, the Saints force a 3-and-out when the half starts. Latavius is an insanely strong runner. Six rushes for 59 yards and with 11 in the third. Um, it, it was in the third quarter, yes. Drew Brees, 20-yard touchdown strike to Jared Cook. Jared collected his fourth touchdown of the year. He played fantastic today. The Saints do not look like solidified Super Bowl contenders with all of these penalties. It was absolutely terrible. Alvin Kamara with a 30-yard run in the third quarter set up a three-yard Michael Thomas touchdown grab, setting the Saints up to go for two. Michael Thomas then caught the two-point conversion, but it was overturned because of offensive pass interference that was not at all offensive pass interference. The referees were extremely bad today. It looked like they were out for us. It was an extremely biased game as far as penalties go. It was like they were going to screw us on the last play of the game, which was uh, the Carolina Panthers when they missed the field goal, but they decided, you know what, we can't be that harsh. We can't make it obvious we're paid off that much, so they didn't do it. Uh, the New Orleans Saints fans, there were two separate occasions where the fans started chanting, refs, you suck. Beautiful, beautiful display of class by the New Orleans Saints fans. I'm joking, but it's definitely something that's needed to get our point across. The refs sucked today. 
Drew Brees tied Tom Brady with 531 touchdown passes in this game and ended up passing him later. Uh, Saints allow another 50-yard pass to DJ Moore. Marshawn's injury showed significance today. In the fourth quarter, the first drive of the fourth quarter on third and eight, Ted Ginn Jr. dropped a very, very, very deep pass that could have eventually turned into a touchdown if he kept going. He had two hands on the ball and it just slipped. He reverted to his old ways. Very, very, very bad drop. Next drive for Carolina, Marcus Williams delivers a huge blow on third and ten on what would have been a first down catch to force Carolina to punt. That was a very pivotal moment in this game. A hilarious everybody but the center penalty happened on the New Orleans Saints. I couldn't help but laugh. It sucked that it was on third and ten, but I couldn't be mad at McCoy. Rookie mistake, still hilarious to watch. On third and fifteen, Drew Brees did end up throwing an interception on a jump ball to Traquan Smith. It wasn't Traquan Smith's fault, so everyone that's saying we should have traded somebody for the deadline. It, it wasn't Traquan Smith's fault. A terrible pass interference call that got called in the end zone. Uh, my God, Marcus Williams didn't turn around. He, we should have uh, had an interception there. Von Bell could have had a second pick in, uh, in his career two straight weeks. That was uh, supposed to be a Marcus, or a, it could have been an interception if, um, you know, Marcus Williams turned around. P.J. Williams is absolutely terrible. Gave up another touchdown on fourth and goal. I don't know. I don't care what anybody says. You can say I'm being a bad fan. P.J. Williams played like absolute garbage today. He was literally terrible on every... Allowed that 50-yard touchdown pass to D.J. Moore. Allowed another touchdown pass on fourth and goal. The dude sucked today. Two back-to-back penalties on the line gave the Saints 11 penalties for 121 yards in the middle of the fourth quarter. Insane. With six minutes left, the New Orleans Saints failed to pick up the fourth and inch with an Alvin Kamara run that was genuinely terrifying. I thought that had might have been the nail in the coffin right there. But when you have Drew Brees and any amount of time on the clock and Will Lutz, don't even worry about it. Next drive with Carolina driving down the field. The Saints fail to stop the Panthers on third and three. They end up on third and three again, but the Saints finally stop them. Um, you, you think they'd finally stop them? No. Uh, there was a very, very, very horrible pass interference challenge that ended up getting overturned on uh, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. Shouldn't have been a P.I. Ridiculous that that got overturned and the Jared Cook pass interference call didn't. Absolutely blasphemous. The refs were out to get us today. It was horrible. Uh, it's one in a million to get overturned, and the fact that they did it in such a pivotal moment is ridiculous, and it literally was giving me fast blacks to the NFC Championship game. Uh, the Saints had 12 penalties with 123 yards, and the Panthers had two penalties for 25 yards. Tell me if there's an off-balance there. Clutch sack by Marcus Davenport forces a field goal attempt. Sly missed the field goal. He missed it. Marcus Davenport made a very athletic play. He jumped over the center and was able to pressure. Um, they, he was able to pressure Joe Sly just enough to get him to miss that field goal kick without touching the center and getting us flagged. A beautiful heads up, extremely athletic play by Marcus Davenport. He saved the game. He fo he had a sack that forced a field goal and then messed up the field goal, disrupted it the play afterwards. He literally had a ball today. Michael Thomas with a huge Huge catch, 24 yards to put us in the field goal range, and then Alvin Kamara had a 16-yard run or a 16-yard reception to shorten the field goal to a 42-yard field goal, and then we ran another play afterwards where Alvin Kamara then rushed for it was it was a lot, and then ended up giving us a 33-yard field goal, which Will Lutz eventually nailed. This was a beautiful game in some ways and horrific in the others. I'm going to tell you this right now, Marshawn Lattimore's. Uh, his, his, his injury showed big today. We have to have him back for the Atlanta Falcons game this Thursday or we're going to get torched. Speaking of the Atlanta Falcons, I know I don't really cover other games that much, and I'm not going to cover it much. I'm just going to tell you the score here. They actually got knocked off of their high horse and lost today to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Vita Vea had a receiving touchdown, which was really cool to see. But, yeah. Uh, they lost. Let me let me go check the score. I'm not really 100% sure. I was paying attention to that end of the game. 35-22, to 22, Tampa Bay went to Atlanta and beat them. Really interesting. I'm glad to see that Atlanta is no longer on a hot streak or they just got knocked off for today. So let's go into some, into some individualistic stats and talk about who really shined this game. 
Drew Brees was 30 for 39, played absolutely fantastic. 311 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick. Latavius Murray had seven carries for 64 yards and a touchdown. Michael Thomas, again, with another amazing day. Ten receptions, 101 yards, and a touchdown. Kyle Allen was 23 for 36. He had a pretty good game. 256 yards and three touchdowns. Christian McCaffrey did not break the 100-yard rusher streak. I told you. I told everybody he's not going to break the 100-yard rusher streak. He had 22 carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown. Still a great game nonetheless, especially in the receiving game. DJ Moore absolutely toasted the New Orleans Saints. Six receptions, 126 yards, and two touchdowns. He played a fantastic game. Alvin Kamara, a lot of frustration uh, shown by him. 11 carries, 54 yards. I completely lied. He wasn't frustrated. I'm frustrated because he's not getting used as much as I want him to. Uh, but he was very, he was very, very, very good towards the end of the game. 11 carries, 54 yards, no touchdowns, but it's okay. Jared Cook broke out. Jared Cook had a fantastic game today. He would have had over 140 yards if he didn't have that monster reception taken away. Jared Cook had six receptions, 99 yards, and a touchdown on eight targets. So that's definitely a good stat to have. Uh, Alvin Kamara had nine receptions for 48 yards as well. No touchdown there. Jared Cook had a touchdown. Um, Everybody played good today. Uh, Ted Ginn Jr. had two receptions, 38 yards, dropped a deep ball, could have been a touchdown. Traquan Smith had a 20-yard touchdown as well. So the boys played good today um, on the offensive side of the ball. The defense was a little bit worse. Uh, like I said, P.J. Williams was absolutely terrible. The safeties had a couple of miscues. <laughs> wow, miscues. Demario Davis continued his hot streak, 11 total tackles, a sack, a pass defended, he played absolutely, this dude is amazing. Demario Davis is definitely in contention for one of the best linebackers in the league, and I don't think it's really a debate. Von Bell had nine tackles as well, and a tackle for loss as long as a, as, as well as a pass deflection. Chauncey Garner-Johnson had six tackles as well. Uh, Cameron Jordan had five tackles, a tackle for loss, a pass defended, and that is about it. He did not have a sack, um, but it, you would have thought with how much pressure he was getting on Kyle Allen. He was doing a great job. Uh, the other players that had sacks, Marcus Davenport had a sack, um, David Anyamata had a sack, Mario Edwards Jr. had a sack, which is very interesting, so yeah. The boys played well today. No turnovers. It's not often you see a team win a game with absolutely no turnovers whatsoever. But we did just enough. Drew Brees led another legendary comeback. Not comeback, but another legendary game-winning drive. Almost identical to the Houston Texans drive earlier this season to win us this game. Drew Brees, us in New Orleans, we all love you. Will Lutz, you're a god. I love this team. I'm so glad we won. I was getting pissed there for a second because Sean Payton was calling some cute little plays that that were, getting, that were literally putting us on track to lose the game, specifically off of the cute little plays he was calling. So I'm glad he got his head in the game. I'm glad the team got their head in the game and realized they're too good to lose to the Carolina Panthers. The Saints advance to 9-2. and two. Beautiful to see. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios.